The Consciousness Revolution We are on the threshold of a revolution in worldview more profound than any that has occurred so far in human history. The reverberations will reach deep into our culture, transforming our science, philosophy, religions, and social behavior. It will expand our consciousness as individuals and has the potential to free our minds from the dark dungeons of a materialistic civilization. The stumbling block is that we just can't let go of the Newtonian perspective that everything is mechanical. Some researchers still hold on to a mechanistic model in which consciousness arises from a bunch of relay-like nerve responses in the brain's complex neural network. When the number of switches reaches a certain value, consciousness just happens. There are about 100 billion neurons in the human brain with 100 trillion possible connections, or switches. This is the basis of the artificial general intelligence hypothesis, first proposed by futurist Ray Kurzweil in 2005. He predicted a singularity will occur when the processing powers of computers overtake the abilities of the human brain in about 2045. At that point, supposedly, computers will become conscious and even form a Skynet-like conspiracy to destroy humans. Theories like these are part of what I call the Robbie the Robot model of consciousness. The iconic robot originated as a character in the 1956 film Forbidden Planet and later appeared in several other films and over 40 television shows. He had a transparent dome for a head, inside of which was an array of relay switches and other gizmos that clicked and whirred when he was processing information. Whether or not we are born robots or become them later, the original fluid awareness we bring into the world is funneled into a narrow stream of social expectations and behavior. Caught in an endless loop of worldly programming, we become noisy Robbie the Robots, clicking out thought after thought, a digital stream of reiterative distractions from what is real. But that is as far as the comparison between humans and computers goes. Boxes of interconnected switches cannot become conscious. Computers process information digitally in time-separated signals or periodic glimpses at reality. The digital view of the world is inherently dualistic and breaks everything down into the choice of yes or no, the binary bits 1 and 0. On the other hand, the human mind interprets the world in a single continuous stream of data known as analog processing. Analog literally means to compare or evaluate information. In his famous paper, Minds, Machines, and Girdle, British logician John Randolph Lucas demonstrated that there will always be mathematical formulas that can be proved by the human mind but not by computers. In his book, Neural Networks and Analog Computation, Beyond the Turing Limit, American computer scientist Hava Siegelman showed that any sufficiently complex analog recurrent neural network, such as the human brain, is more powerful than any digital computer or Turing machine. A Turing machine is an abstract model of digital computation devised by British mathematician Alan Turing to help define the limitations of computers and what can be computed. To construct a Turing machine, you need a ticker tape, or punch cards, consisting of cells that can be written on, and a scanner, or head, that can read from the tape and write on it. You also need a table of rules, the programming, that tells the head what to do when it reads data from the tape. Given any computer program, a Turing machine can be constructed that simulates its operation, and if a machine is a Turing machine, then it is inherently limited only to the computation of rational numbers, numbers that can be written as a ratio of two integers. It has been proven that all digital computers are Turing machines and can therefore only compute with rational numbers. Even quantum computers, with infinite parallel processing capabilities, are still Turing machines and limited by Turing machine constraints. Computers are machines that can solve practical problems and plot future actions, but they can never imagine what it would feel like to have achieved something. 
Humans are designed to perceive deeper than data processing and to exist fully in the present moment and not in some future projection of data and desires. Human awareness goes deeper than algorithms, and our perceptions reach beyond the binary world. Our whole existence, our very souls, exist in the silent subtleties between the lines of linear logic. If we are really just selfish mechanical automatons, then why are we willing to risk our lives or even sacrifice ourselves for others? Altruism, which is the unselfish regard or devotion to the welfare of others, is a basic human instinct not exhibited by any machines. Because we share the field of awareness with other humans and animals, we respond empathetically to the suffering of others and try to help.